from the Ivered Atlantics onwards. The locomotives we've seen since we started this journey in the late 30s enjoyed an enthusiastic following. The Gresley Pacifics later brought power and speed to the East Coast mainline, and they gained many more thousands of admirers in the heady train-spotting days of the 50s. Many other types played their part in handling the traffic. Humble tank engines like the N2s. Heavy freight engines. Reliable workhorses like the V2s, which were masters of all types of train. and the B1s, which filled an urgent need for a modern, medium-powered, mixed-traffic locomotive. The 9Fs were masters of their work in the final years of steam. Naturally, it was the A4s which took the limelight and captured the imagination. Although they were designed for working lightweight, high-speed trains, they proved themselves capable of much more and remained in frontline service to the end. Without doubt, they were the epitome of power on the East Coast. In the BR years, the A4s were ably supported by the Peppercorn A1s, which carried on the Cressley tradition. And their tradition has been continued with the construction of a brand new example, Tornado, the power of East Coast steam in the 21st century. <laughs>